Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, well, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I will core up. Well, that statement's gonna keep me up at night, like everything, everything. Just so you know, there's a long, uh, proud tradition of singing in the shower. Ah, Lillian, she's an incredible woman, truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. And when she bleeds, free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. I could do the job, sure, that wasn't the problem. Traveling, exploring, seeing new crazy things. It calls to me. But one day, I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. She so tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. She was probably right. Eh, we were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. I told her what you told me, that Cora is just blossoming with all this. With Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. It's always something. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think, Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. If I do that, you all might want to invest in some industrial strength earplugs. But for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail, so everyone can sleep easy. And when you get a moment, can we talk? The whole Terramorph situation, seriously, hats off to you. When I was growing up, everyone was afraid of Terramorphs. How they could seemingly strike anywhere at any time. Carnage, the destruction. The stuff you've done here could save so many lives. Eat your nutrient paste or the Terramorphs will get you. Were you ever told that? I don't know about these Asilis. That micro would wipe out the Terramorphs for good at certain. I mean, the Asilis? It'll take longer and take more hand-holding, and there's no saying the Asilis will fully get the job done. I hope for all our sake you made the right call.
When you put it like that, I guess I see your point. The United Colonies. Hell, everyone and everywhere owes you big time. Even if they don't know it. Good to be out and about. The launch gets depends on the question. Shoot. There's so many planets, moons, celestial phenomena out there. Most captains just sail through the great black, not even really looking, appreciating. A lot of the time, touching down on a virgin planet can be, well, uneventful. But every now and then, you see something no human has ever laid eyes on. That is what I live for. Korra has the complete top of its class learning videos and lessons. And I have to occasionally do some of the old homeschooling. Fortunately, mainly it's the videos. Around when she was seven, she could already see the cracks in my knowledge. Come to think of it, I think she's doing an introductory college course in astrophysics. Not being graded, like, for fun. She's so weird. I've seen my fair share of scrapes. Actually, <laughs> a triple share with a massive bonus worth. Some folks say I'm the luckiest man alive after making it through some real whoppers. The trick is to always keep a cool head. Impulsiveness, fear, adrenaline, all those will get you jumpy. You get too jumpy, your target could be five in front of you and you'll miss every time. Well, we managed an entire civil adult conversation the other day. I kept waiting for the fireworks. I was still waiting after she said goodbye. It was... Uh, different. Good different. Let's... Talk about something less awkward, like bathroom hygiene. There's no next. I want to be exploring until they pry the boots off my cold, dead feet. I mean, Cora will go to university, and the price tag there is scarier than any jam we've been in. But for me, my truest love is the next star, the next horizon. <laughs> Later. Have any new books for me? I wonder why Solomon named this place Aquila. You'd think I know the answer to that, but I don't. I want to
me to be a doctor. People around here think we own Aquila. They're wrong. The Asta do. Friend, I gotta confess, I'm not much in the mood for conversation. I know, I shouldn't let that woman get up under my skin, but, well, I can't seem to help it. Girl comes in here with her big ideas about how we defend our city. No respect for the way we've done things for years. No worries about the possible consequences. And expect us to thank her for making our lives more difficult. I tell you, I've never seen entitlement like that. Not a shred of awareness in her. It's shocking is what it is. Look, this ain't New Atlantis. It ain't all flowers and chirping birds out there. These walls around us, they're here for a damn good reason. I've trained the guards here for years, again, for a damn good reason. We get it wrong, we not watching all the time, then the ash to kill innocent people. That's the simple reality of the situation. So when someone struts into town with their untested ideas on how to do things better than those of us who dedicated our lives to protecting the city, that don't go over so well. I don't know, some technical mumbo-jumbo about sensors and behavior predictions. That's not the point. She expect us to just change up how things work and I can't abide by it. We've gotten along just fine until now. Mm-mm, that's a big if. And I'm not about to do a live test of whatever tech she thinks she got. Look, this is getting my blood pressure up talking about this so damn much. You think you can talk some sense into her? Be my guest. Otherwise, I suggest you leave defending this city to the people who spent their lives doing it. We need to be smarter, better in the way we handle the Ashta. Well, you sure don't look like you're delivering the capacitors I'm waiting for. Something I can do for you? Correction, Mr. Wilson has a disagreement with me. I can't tell if he's just being willfully ignorant or has just entirely misunderstood my proposals. I'm not sure what you've heard or, quite frankly, why this seems to be getting around the way it is. Despite assertions to the contrary, I'm not attempting to run anyone out of a job or open the city gates to allow Ashton to come pouring in. Nor am I in any way attempting to make a statement about the competence of the current security forces and or apparatus in Aquila City. I hope that clears things up. I feel like I just got broadsided by the fine print. Do you know what the hell she just said? Okay, well, I must need to work on my delivery because I keep having this problem. I just... I need to prove that what I'm working on can make a positive difference. Then you'll see it my way. I could really use some help, in fact, just to make sure this all goes off without a hitch. Would you be willing to place some sensors for me? Yeah, I need them to start gathering data. Pretty simple, I could do it myself, but at this point I think Davis may be having someone tail me. He's that flustered. That is great news. Just take these and stick them in specific spots in the city along the wall. When you're done, come find me. I'll find something to do in the meantime to give myself an air of plausible deniability.
Hey there. Spend youth and Aggies. Uh, watch your back. And your wallet. Welcome to the stretch. You got some good news, I hope? Well, that's that then. So, this next part, it's a bit delicate. See that guard tower across the way there? I need to get in there and make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. I don't have the processing power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. The existing network does. Oh goodness, I really am bad at communicating sometimes. I have that part well in hand. The, uh guard standing outside there he's not gonna let me in i need you to distract him i should only need a few moments so i, I don't know convince him to take a break or something or if you're feeling particularly rebellious maybe give him some official business to attend to i believe it's what davis would refer to as a ruckus as soon as you've got him occupied i'll scoot in and out before anyone notices okay let's do this Those walls are solid. Ain't no ash to getting in here. What brings you to the wall? Boredom. Because if that's what you're looking for, you've hit the jackpot. Is everything all right? Okay, okay, I I'm going. So we have to be prepared. That's all settled then. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. This is bending the rules, not breaking laws. And it'll all work out in the end. You'll see. Once enough data has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them, especially Davis, that my technology is useful. If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings.
careful with Mr. Wilson? I have a feeling he's just looking for an excuse with me. Oh, it's you. I got the data from the seismic sensors, and I... I, I need help. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. Oh, thank you. It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Well, Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. I suppose I should have expected that, but now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is, well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. Kinda everything. The timing of the results, the strength of the signals. I did a lot of research on the Ashta before I started this project, and none of it lines up like it should. No, the tech is fine. I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Look. I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. But this, I'm not gonna lie. It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just ask around, see if something's going on. I'd really appreciate it. The sensors shouldn't cause any disruption at all. I checked the schematic three times. things on my plate right now so unless this is important I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time well ain't that just about the last damn thing I need right now Oh, is she? After going off and doing exactly what she was told not to, she's concerned now? She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Now, I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You want to join me? few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. Gear yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there.
All right, you ready to head out there? Okay then, just stick close to me, keep your head on a swivel, and you'll be fine. We'll be back before you know it. And maybe we'll get some answers. Head this way. What in the hell? This is one of our security bots. Someone sent this thing out to mimic the Ashton? Why in the world? Shit, you hear that? Eyes up, we got incoming. Day into the bed. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. Now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? No, I expect not. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over. See if I can find some more details. While I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? I think I got the... What do you call them? Horns? Yeah, I... Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for a DP, an A and B, a B and E, or... For the MS. But at least I 
least then we wouldn't have to worry about a VOP. <laughs> Am I right? Another day, another show. If it weren't for the walls, the whole town would be an Ashta buffet. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? He's... <clears throat> He's alright, isn't he? Nothing, uh, bad happened out there. Oh, no. Look. People getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. It won't matter. I really screwed this up. I don't know. Davis is a stand-up guy. And however dumb your actions were, the reasons weren't. But you might want to update your resume just in case. Can hardly walk two steps. Whoever sabotaged the robot is in for it. The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? You serious? Oh, Bailey, what were you thinking? My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's gone crazy. Well, I'm gonna have to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much, but not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be a research. Well, it might prove useful. You don't need to wear your helmet on this planet.
kill for a cup of coffee right about now. Hey, how have you been? Staying out of trouble? Didn't I say it was all for a good cause? Things here have been... Well, they're better. The Isis thought a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. I know, I know. I think we both realize that, and we're working on putting it behind us. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kinda, I don't know, pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. I'd like to think so, but the data doesn't support that. There's a marked difference in his behavior. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. Have you tried the Gamma I can't believe Bailey did such a bonehead move. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after? Maybe I will. Let's see where this goes. So what can I do for you? And there's the headache. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in the fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I'll give you a chance to gear up if you need it. And uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. All right. You know, Keone showed me her data. She's a clever kid. She's got a lot of things figured out. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. She had a couple sets of data that she thought were erroneous or something. But it seems to me that it might not be. Bigger, faster, Ashka sounds like it matches up with the track house. But I tell you, I'm hoping she's right. She's just a bitch. And uh, no need to tell her I said that. But the one that's going to her head. Alright, here we are. Let's head.
I remember a story from the first time I was here on Aquila. I had totally forgotten about it till recently. Every so often we get independent types who think that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. Warnings just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. Claimed he seen an ash as big as a house out there. The older guys all said he was delirious. And me, well, I was new as anything and just listened to him. Now, though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss in the East Street. Maybe he really did see something. Maybe I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? I didn't think we were going to make it through that. If you hadn't been with me, no way I'd be standing right now. Never thought there'd be a day when I saved the Davis Wilson. I mean, it does and it doesn't, you know? We got out alive this one time. That's good. But this ain't going to be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is going to need everybody. So, I'm going to swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. Oh, don't worry about me. Thanks again for saving my ass. So, I was right? My data was accurate? I can't believe I second-guessed it. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? Yes, you're right. I need to reevaluate all the existing data. Who knows what else we can get out of it? I need to get to work on this immediately. But while I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. I thought it was funny. <sighs> now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you again.
Outside the wall, things get dicey. I'll start a new joke. Aim for us. 